Hello friends, my name is Nilesh Kumar, I am from India. I welcome you all in this synchronous meeting. This is the week 4 of Developing Learning New Habits course. And this is the team which have been taking efforts to develop the course and run it smoothly. Dr. Nelly is the leading moderator and guide for this course. She provided us opportunity to learn and moderate from this course. So friends, you have discussed with all the teammates of this particular course and myself Nilesh Kumar here. Before going further, I would like to introduce myself in a different way. And I would like to ask all of you to introduce all of you in this way. How we have to introduce ourselves? We have to add a describing word or adjective that is begins with the same letter of our name. For example, my name is Nilesh Kumar and I will say, Hi, I am Noble Nilesh Kumar. Okay. Now all of you have to introduce yourself in such a way. So it's my request to all the participants to please introduce yourself in such a way. Add one describing word or adjective before your name. Uh, would you like us to use the same initial for our adjective or any? Any adjective that suits to describe your name or yourself. I added here, no, I am Noble Nilesh Kumar. You can add whatever starts with H. Uh, in language means the happy one. So I think that uh, uh, that adjective applies to me as well. But if I have to choose another adjective, I would like to choose agile. I am an agile person and I adjust very quickly to everything. What about you, Natash, uh, Natalia? As my, my name has uh, the meaning of, let's say, uh, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> and I say that I am passionate and committed and I am a life lover. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is that okay? Fantastic. Fantastic, Natalia. Then anybody else? Because I'm on this presentation of the slide, I can't see others who are there. Okay, I could introduce myself. Uh, I can't think of any adjectives that really describe me the way yours did with the N, since we, Natalia, you and I, start our name with N. Um, but I would say that I am nearsighted Nelly Deutsch. Can you repeat? Oh. A queen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Nelly, I couldn't get it. Can you repeat it, please? <laughs> Thank you. A network queen. <laughs> oh. network. Bless you, Harshini. Thank you. <laughs> So too. Okay. Is there anybody else? Um, I think you can continue. Okay. Yeah. Hi. I can introduce myself. Uh, am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hi. I am Kam Chitra. So yeah. So I am Chitra, and I am very calm. So I think uh, calm is the, is the adjective. Lucky. With my you name. have a nice name. You're lucky. Calm is nice. So nice. Okay, I think we have introduced in a joyful way with each other and now we are well familiar with each other. Let's move on. So friends, this is the fourth week of developing learning new habits. In this week, we are going to deal with social and emotional competencies. In this week, the tasks are broadly divided in two parts. You will see here four numbers, but these four numbers are divided broadly in two parts. 
In the first part, we have to learn or take input with help of the provided resources and the resources which we will use to learn more about the particular concepts. On the other part, we have to reflect with help of some activities and embedded with some tech tools regarding the learned part. It's so simple. These are the two parts. If you see on the screen, there is the first part, reading or discussion. In this part, we have to learn or understand something, some concepts about social and emotional competencies. And in other three parts, we have to reflect with help of different activities and tools. Okay. In this week, we are going to deal with social and emotional competency, which we will see at the bottom of this hierarchy. We are developing these competencies in the context of school community, school or classroom. Till this week, we have dealt with the cognitive competency, metacognitive competency and motivational competency. In this week, we will learn and read about social and emotional competency. Actually, here I want to show you one video to introduce this thing, but I think that it's not possible to share here because it is on my PC and while sharing the screen, it is showing the options of sharing only Chrome tabs. So I would like to describe that story. May I, Nelly, ma'am? Uh, yes, I think you can share uh, a video if you have it open on YouTube. No, it is not uh, on YouTube. Actually, it is recorded by me and it is in my it is on my PC. So in, instead of choosing the screen of a tab, you can choose, oh, okay, you can choose a window and probably you could show that. Okay. You would have to screen share. If Harshini is screen sharing right now, uh, Nilush, you would have to do the screen sharing and then you can share it from your desktop. But as Harshini yeah. said, you will need Julie, to use I'm the sharing. window. Actually, I'm sharing, ma'am. Oh, you're doing the sharing. So that's perfect. Just go to your screen share again and, and go to the window, as Harshini said. Okay, window. And then I will. Instead of a tab. Chrome tab or whatever. Okay, window and share. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now it's visible, yeah? Yeah, but we see it a lot of times. I don't know why. Um, that's what you see when you did the window. I will be, looking... I'll be editing this. But I see, you... I see double. You have to go there. If you don't go there, we will only see um, a mirror of the room that we are in right now. You need to find the video on your computer. It has to be open. And then you can screen share it. So if you could switch on the video and then you can go on the share option. It's on the left. It's the first one. It's called window. The, the middle one actually. Yes. I shared window and click here. You have to go to the video. Go to the video. Yeah. My video is opened on my desktop. But we don't see it. Then go to the middle one. Maybe the middle one will work for you. Not the window, the one next to that app. Did you stop the recording? Share screen. There is Chrome tab, window, and entire screen. So go to the screen. Go whatever is not, whatever you haven't tried yet. Uh, entire screen I didn't try it yet. Okay. 
I don't think that's going to work, but maybe. Okay. It's again showing same. Because it's not open. Oh, there, now I see it. I saw it. You need to click on it on the media. Yeah, click. Now we see it. Perfect. Now you can May play. I give you a okay. Yes. Now you can play. There was a girl, her name was Alexa. She was so good. Is it audible, ma'am? Uh, I'm going to have to edit a lot it. here. Uh, it's fine. Hello? Start all over. Okay. Start all over. And we, we heard it. I just had to, I had to put it out loud. Tell me when you're ready and just say, now we're going to, so I know where to edit. Okay. I'm starting video now. Hello. There was a girl, her name was Alexa. She was so bored at the dining table because all the family members were busy with their mobile phones and gadgets at the dining table. One day, her grandfather saw that Alexa too joined the rest of the family members with mobile phones at the dining table and he thought what should i do to change this picture then he took her son and daughter-in-law to her friend's home and they joined there at the dining table and the people saw how the dining table should be how the people should be at dining table while having your dinner or lunch. People were chatting with each other. They were gossiping about different topics and kids were also joining them. Everyone was happy and having discussions about different topics. And Alexa's father and mother understood what should we do and they decided to change your habit and they put off their mobile phones aside on the dining table while having their lunch, dinner, or breakfast. And they began to chit chat and discuss with each other. And the scenario was different for the rest of the days. Alexa was so happy chit chatting and having discussions with her father, mother, and grandmother, everybody. She was so happy for even from that day. So friends, have you enjoyed this video? Yes, sure. Hello. Yes, very much. Thank it you. It shows us the importance Thank of relationships, you. building relationships. Yes. Okay. Now I have a few questions on the basis of this video. I would, I would request the participant to please answer, answer these questions. So the first question is, why was the Alexa getting bored though she has all the food items on the dining table she want why she was so bored there was no connection no interaction oh yeah, yeah may i yeah, may yeah I? please yeah. uh so it was because uh no one was talking to her or nobody uh talking even to each other so she was getting bored uh food was there but uh you know the basic communication was missing yeah. So I guess she was getting bored. Yes. It means she wants something different, something more, or she, something necessary she have to there at that dining table. Okay. That is yes. communication or, or having discussion about different topics. It was her need. And this need is connected with competency. What can we say? Yes. Yeah. 
with which competency these things were related? This is both social and emotional. You, as human beings, we are social. We need to interact with others. And the first interaction in context is our family. Yeah, definitely. This is the point that she needs some social and emotional things or the needs in which her grandfather was trying to provide him with a strategy. Then can you tell me what strategy her grandfather used to change the scenario, to change the image at dining table? Oh, I missed that part. What strategy grandfather used to change the that scenario, that scene? I cannot remember. Uh, I know that everybody stopped using the phone, but I cannot remember what the grandfather did. Okay. So, grandfather put Alexa's father and mother to his friend's home, and he provided one example of how we should be at the dining table, how we have to interact with each other, and then they changed the scene, and mm -hmm. they changed their habits. Okay? And okay. that last everyone was speaking everyone was discussing on different topics kids were also joining them in this way or using this strategy this thing it changed here actually friends this video or this incident is based on the home environment context but it, it is completely related with social and emotional competence such type of things happens in our schools in our classrooms where we have to think about different components of developing or enhancing social and emotional competencies in the last video we have seen their parents grandparents kids and their interactions in the same way there are teachers students and their sentiments in the classroom where we have to think about different components such type of components are here in our course about these components we are going to learn in detail with help of provided resources in the form of scholarly articles like teacher sections student sentiments students behaviors and the impact of all these things on the learning of the students then here is one example of, we can say of lesson plan that is used to enhance the social and emotional competency among the learners. This is very useful and direction oriented to develop such type of things. We enhance such competencies among our students. Okay. Then here we have to read few articles few scholarly articles which will enlighten us on the basis of social and emotional competencies. Here is one app that will help us to note down different points that is Ammonote, which we, you have already used while reading different articles for last three weeks. Then there is one framework, competency framework, which you have already created for last three weeks for cognitive competency, metacognition competency, and motivational competency. In this fourth week, you have to do the same thing for social and emotional competency. Here is one example. In this social competency, there is a student, Isa, and his diagnosis makes it hard for him to work in group. His fluctuating attention pattern influences his auditory comprehension. It results, he comes across as arrogant, indifferent, and rude to peers. This is the situation. This is the situation. And we have to develop social and emotional competencies. And here we have to mention what we will do, which activities we will design. You can take another examples of your own students to frame this plan work, frame this 
work here in this competency. Then we have to reflect with help of these two interesting tools. First one is Kahoot Challenge and another one is Quizlet Study Site. In the Kahoot Challenge, we have to frame 10 questions based on emotional and social competencies that you have read in articles and share the link of that game in the forum. After that, we have to create a Quizlet study set by choosing 10 terms, glossary terms from the provided list of Google Docs and share its link in the forum. You have to play the match of Quizlet that you have created and then share your score, screenshot of your score in the forum. At the end of this week, we have to reflect over all the things like the learning articles or the activities related with the forums to reflect about different topics with help of Oki Avtar. It is the best tool that I ever enjoyed for different courses that I completed on AO sessions from 2022. So this is the particular presentation of this fourth week where we are dealing with social and emotional competency. Now let's go on the actual layout of the course. No. This is actual course layout. We have already completed three weeks of the particular course. Some of you may be lagged behind, but no problem. I'm completely sure about that you will complete all the tasks and you will receive all the badges and certificate of the course in stipulated time. Okay. okay. So these are the weeks. One. Your course. Can you a word that says share this tab? Okay, one minute. Is it visible now? So this is the actual course layout. You have already completed three weeks. You have a clear cut idea about all these things. So I will not go in detail of this much more. Let's have a glance of the activities and forums designed for the fourth week. Here the fourth week starts. It is from January 30 to February 5th. First we will see here this tab. This is a page PDF file that will tell us overview of the week four. By clicking on it, you can open this PDF file and have a, all the tasks or can see all the tasks at a glance. Then there is interesting video that describes how can we develop social and emotional competencies among learners. Actually, it's, it tells us that we are not teaching skills but we are modeling the skills then how to model the skills there is one example presented in this video with help of the girls and boys club you will definitely enjoy this video and make many things with help of this so i will not describe it more please see this video before starting the course at this particular week and there is support forum here you can put your questions or glitches, whatever you feel while completing the tasks and while reading the resources. Then there is URL of this particular presentation. After this meeting, you will get a tab having a recording of this synchronous meeting here. So you can feel free to access that video if it will be helpful 
for all of you while completing the course. Then just below it, there are two PDF files, which are the scholarly articles provided by the course designers to understand, to develop the social and emotional competencies among the learners. After reading these articles, we have to mark here as mark as done, and then we have to go further. After reading that articles, there is again one forum where we have to go and answer a few questions which are based on the above mentioned articles. This is necessary to get grade. To receive grade as you can see on the screen you have to click on this forum there will be few questions based on the above mentioned articles and after answering them you have to reply at least one of the participants then you will get the grade here is personal competency framework learner chart when you click on this it will open then you have to copy it and then paste it in your Google Drive or in the Word document and fill it. We have already discussed about it in the presentation mode. Okay. And then share its link. It is necessary. It is to receive grade. Then share its link in the forum and reply at least one participant. After there, there is an interesting part that is a good challenge. We have to start a discussion here. So we have to open it and then reply one of the participants by playing his or her Kahoot challenge. And then we have to create our own Kahoot challenge. We have to frame at least 10 questions based on our reading regarding social and emotional competencies. It is again necessary activity to receive a grade. And there is this let's study set for week four. Okay. Like Kahoot, we have to create here Quizlet study set. You have already created such type of Quizlet study sets while completing the activities for last three three weeks. Here you will have one glossary term list. From that, you have to choose at least 10 terms and create this type of Quizlet match, Quizlet study set, and then add it to the classroom. While completing this task, if you have any problem or any difficulty, you can get guidance from the tutorial video, which is already there. And though till that time you have any difficulty, you can ask your questions in the forum. Any of the moderators will reply your query. Okay. So here you have to do with this Quizlet study set and you have to play the Quizlet match and take the screenshot shot of your score and share that screenshot in the forum. Then this is the last part of the fourth week that is reflection with Oki Avatar. You have to log into the Oki and then you have to reflect about the whole process of fourth week, whatever you learned, where the resources, how it will be helpful for you, and how were the other technological tools which were used to reflect about the course in this way. I think this is the all about week four. And it will be helpful for all the participants while completing the course. Thank you so much. If there is any question, I will try to answer it. It's clear for me. Nelly, ma'am, do you want to add something, please? No, wonderful. I enjoyed it very much. I just wanted to say that because I'm screen sharing, I can use my phone to add to the chat so it doesn't show up in the recording. Okay. So it was wonderful. I'm really enjoying it. And um, I, I loved the video that you had at the beginning. Thank you. Um, not only to help us realize what's important and that emotional and social competencies are important, but to get us and, and with the uh, with the name to get us feeling 
you know, the ability to feel, to be connected to your feelings and emotions, I think is very, very important. And you did that really well. Thank you. Thank you. Theme of this week, teacher who puts relationships to have students for one year about how important the teacher's role is. Thank you, Harshini. I think that's really important. I also got a message from a student from 2010, a grade 10 student. She was in grade 10 then. And um, I found her on LinkedIn. She looks the same. And I was so proud of her accomplishments. You know, um, she, she has a few degrees and she's doing amazing work. And she uh, works, I mean, she's a, an instructor at a university. And when I contacted her to say that I'm really proud of her and she's done so much, she said, I will never forget you, she said to me. I said, really? Because I feel the same way about you. And then she said, because, and the because is exactly that. And she mentioned how you use technology to teach English. And I think it's not really about using technology, Harshini. It's I think what technology can do uh, in building that relationship, that one-on-one, -on -one, not only classroom team relationship, but that one-on-one -on -one ongoing support and connections that we can have which, with each and every one of our students. And by the way, in that class, I oh, had 41 and to build students. And one relationship with 41? A grade 10 class. Incredible. Yeah, and, and and I think Nilush knows the class because I share the I shared it in video based mobile learning. It's the class where all the students were holding mm -hmm. up their phones. Um, so I don't know if you remember that, Nilush, but that's one of the girls is uh, the one that told me this, and I think that uh, this is something that we can all feel. But I'm wondering, Harshini and others maybe. Um, you need to have a mindset, you know, a certain growth, I would say growth mindset, but a mindset in, um, you have to want this. You have to want to have relationships with your students. You can't, and I've had many teachers, I was lucky that most of mine in, uh, in the K-12, you know, in, in the lower grades were like this. They wanted this connection. But I'm thinking of my children's teachers and other teachers who all they did was just lecture. You know, it's, it was all about lecturing and nothing else. I believe is, is the key to building social um, relationships. But it's, you're right, but it's not going to happen if the teacher um or the instructor believes that his or her role is to preach and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk you know it's never who's going to feel safe you know in in such an environment i would like to share one thing ma'am hello yes Milush? yes yeah uh, actually i teach in rural area in india for the grade three and seven students and i was not uh, that much uh, competent uh, while using the technology but when i joined different sessions and courses of daily ma'ams thank you she never get angry but i always feel that she will ang get angry with me that why are you take, making such type of mistakes you can't share the screen i am so tense about that but you never use such type of words so it is the example I felt here. So thank you, ma'am, because you are just encouraging us to join with these things. These are completely new for us. We never use such type of online meetings. That's why. Continue pushing us, and that really gets us somewhere. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Uh, I think. Okay. Yeah, I was listening to you. Um, I think that uh, we are experiencing some kind of freedom in Argentina. Our students are feeling um, freer, freer to, to talk about their feelings. 
it really surprised me um, 2022, my 2022 students, how they talked about their feelings without um, without any problem. They didn't have problems sharing. They, they didn't feel embarrassed. They talked about family problems. Uh, it really shocked me. And I, I comment on that with my colleagues, to be honest, because it, it's like they have another chip in their minds I and mean, you know what i mean when i was a, a kid or previous generations to this one uh were like reluctant to speak because they didn't want to to be embarrassed or, or things like that but nowadays this is not happening they even talk about sexual things sexual affairs in in the classroom freely so it's it's great i don't know if they do with all this and with some of my colleagues at one, it is when it comes to studies from, you have the school psychologist, we didn't have all of those. Yes, you know, uh, I also work with adults, yes, at university, and it's much more difficult for me to make them speak. Even in the first class and uh, um, throughout the year, it's uh, quite difficult, and some adults don't even speak throughout the year. So uh, when I'm talking about adults, I'm not talking about all adults let's say oh, i'm talking about um people in in their 30s uh, they still yes, have problems probably, too. And 30s. Yeah. they still have problems but be uh, yes. uh, below that age i yeah. i see a lot of difference of course i i like sharing time with them and i like having fun i think it is part of of our role let's say I work with teens at in high school with adults with companies and um, I mm. have worked with little kids but that's enough for me. I have tried all the pH levels and uh, English levels but now I keep the, I keep secondary school first and second and second year of secondary school. I have a way much fun with them and then adults yes definitely yes definitely i try to work with little kids in fact in my first years of uh, as a teacher i did but then i uh well uh, the problem of the parents <laughs> uh, that's 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 i'm sorry to say that's the same story in in paraguay how is it in in india nilesh are the parents a problem in uh, in india <laughs> yes with parents, yes, that's the big issue. It's the same Sorry? all over the world uh, with parents. Um, they um, they want the teacher to, you know, they think that they, they have a right to say whatever they want to the teacher uh, and tell the teacher how to teach too. In, uh, in the K-12, from the lower, maybe not so much the lower grades, but middle school and high school, they they feel that they um, they have a right. They have a right to say that's true because it's their children. Uh, but I think that there's a difference between feeling that your way is the only way and the teacher's way no, I... is the wrong way <laughs> because you had bad experiences <laughs> as as a as a learner but i think it's a place to for you know for conversations to have um dialogues with the with the parents and i think i i i became friends with the parents you know it was like it was we were working together and that that's what uh we aim for to yes. to work with parents to to get the parents to trust us thank have you have a great day everyone bye-bye